hello you are welcome to today's lesson so in this video we learn about diode models we learn about diode models so first of all let's know what a diode is so you know a diode is an electrical component that allows the flow of current in only one direction so that's what a diode is it's any electrical component that allows the flow of current in one direction so now let's talk about diode models. Okay, so first of all, why diode modeling? Okay, so we model diodes so that we'll be able to perform some uh, analysis, okay, some mathematical analysis and then some electrical analysis on the diode. So you consider some uh, characteristics of the diodes okay then you will assume that they are not present so that you see how the diode will behave in the absence of all those characteristics so the first one we talk about is the ideal diode the ideal diode means a perfect diode okay which has all properties in their perfect sense without any flaws an ideal diode does not offer any resistance to current when it is fed biased Okay, and this tells us that what an ideal diode does not have what a bio potential. You know, diodes have a bio potential due to the due to the depletion zone, okay, formed by the PN junction. But in ideal diode, we assume that it doesn't have it doesn't need what any bio potential. So this makes us continue to think whether an ideal diode will have what a depletion layer or not because it doesn't have what any bio potential meaning that the electrons can flow across the pn junction easily okay so the diode allows current to flow through it easily all right so one will ask whether the ideal diode has a depletion layer or not i'll leave that question for you to, to look for an answer for for it okay so Let's look at a few things about the ideal diode. So the ideal diode doesn't have doesn't have a potential bio. Okay, so this means that what it allows current to flow through it easily. So we therefore say that what it acts as a perfect conductor when it is what fed biased. You know, conductors perfect conductor doesn't offer any resistance to the flow of current. So when I do diode is fed biased, we see that what it is what a perfect conductor but when it is reversed by us it blocks all the current flowing through it okay so it doesn't allow the flow of current through it when it is what reversed by us so from this iv characteristics graph that we have here you see when it is fired by us this side is fired by us and then this is reverse when it is fired by us you see that you don't even apply any voltage to it then current to start flowing trees okay so you don't need to apply any high voltage to make current flow through it so you see that there's some small voltage that is supplied to it current to start to flow through it but when it is reversed by us no matter the voltage that it is applied to it you see that what, there will be no current flowing through it okay so that's what this graph means so even if you apply a high amount of voltage there will be no current Flowing through it. it is possible for current to flow through it by its word very small. But in the case of ideal diode, we see that what when it is reversed by us, it doesn't allow the flow of current in it. So we represent an ideal diode with, with what a switch. Okay, so we represent an ideal diode with what a switch. So that the equivalent circuit for what an ideal diode is a switch, something like this. So when it is Forward bias, we see that when the switch is closed, and when it is reversed bias, we see the switch is what open. And you know, when the switch is open, that doesn't allow the what the flow of current in the circuit. So that's what an ideal diode is. All right, so now let's talk about the next one, which is what the particle diode. Okay, so for a particle diode, it does have what. A bio potential and then a very low forward resistance okay so this forward resistance is very low so we, we neglect it so the the particle diode has what 
a buyer potential. So that means that what before the practical diet will start to wear, that buyer potential has to be what overcome before the current what will start going through the diet. Okay, so this is the equivalent circuit for for a practical diet. So it acts as a what a voltage source in series with what a switch. Okay, so this will be the voltage source and then this will be what the switch. So before this practical diet will work, it needs what an amount of voltage okay to cause it to work. So this voltage in the silicon diode is what 0.7 and then in the germanium uh, diode is what 0 0.3. So with that and uh, this amount of voltage current will not flow through the diode. So when it is fired by us, it acts what as a switch when it gets the amount of what voltage, but when it is reversed by us, it doesn't allow it the flow of current, same as the ideal diode. So before a practical diode will work, it needs what an amount of what uh, voltage, okay, which is the buyer potential. So for silicon, it needs what at least a 0.7 volt to allow current to flow through. So you see that from all this, uh, when the current, when the voltage wasn't up to 0.7, current wasn't flowing through until it got here. Then current to start what flowing through. So until it gets an amount of what voltage, it's not allowed current to flow through it. And when it is reversed to no matter the amount of voltage applied you can increase your voltage but still there will be what no current flow so that's for fast card diode also so the current circuit is a voltage source which was a switch okay when forward bias and then when it is reversed bias it acts as an open switch meaning it doesn't allow the flow of current so let's talk about the the last one, which is the complete diode. Okay, so a complete diode has a bare potential. It has what dynamic resistance or static resistance, and it has what internal reverse resistance. Okay, so the ideal diode mode has what a bare potential, so which is 0.74 silicon diodes and then 0.34 germanium diodes. And it has what the dynamic resistance. So the dynamic resistance is due to a small change in voltage over what current. So it is termed as what dynamic resistance when the voltage source is what an AC, and then termed as what the static resistance when the voltage source is what a DC. Okay, so this resistance is normally called what the forward resistance. Okay, it's called the forward the forward resistance, and then the internal reverse resistance so the complete diode has a very high internal reverse resistance okay same as the the ideal and then the practical so when you reverse the complete diode it provides a very high resistance to the flow of what current but sometimes there is some small amount of current that will, will flow through it when you increase what the voltage so in this case it is represented as a voltage source okay and then due to the internal resistance there will be there will be some other voltage in the complete diode so due to this resistance okay so initially this diode has what a voltage drop of what 0 0.7 that's if it is what silicon but due to the resistance that is caused by the diode okay there will be another voltage so you take IF to be the current flowing through the diode so therefore the total voltage in the diode will be what the the potential barrier okay to to be the potential barrier and then that's the the voltage due to what the, the resistance okay so to have these two voltages in it so to find the total voltage in the diode you have to add out the barrier potential and then the the voltage due to what the resistance offered by what the diode okay so let's look at the the characteristics curve of what the complete diode so the complete diode acts was as a closed switch in series with what bio potential and then a small forward resistance okay and then when it is reversed by us it acts what as well as an open switch in parallel with what 
the large reverse resistance. So you see that from here, you see that when the dial is foiled by us, it needs what an amount of voltage, which is what the bio potential, okay, to cause current to, to flow through it. Okay, and then when it's reverse by us, you see that well, there is some amount of what, current in it. Okay, you see that well, there is some small amount of current going through it due to the to the large reverse resistance. Okay, so that's for complete diode also. So let's do some quick revision. So you know you see that for I do diode, you don't include barrier potential. Okay. So for ID, you don't include the barrier potential. And then for practical practical we include only the barrier potential. And then for complete for complete diode we include the bio potential the the forward resistance and then the reverse resistance so that's what you should know so with this knowledge let's apply that and then solve a question So this is the question that I have on the screen. We say that determine the forward voltage, forward current for each of the diode models and also find out the voltage across the limiting resistor in each case. So first you have to find what the forward voltage, okay, which is the voltage in the diode, so VF, okay, and then you have to find the forward current, which is what IF, also the current in the diode okay it's if you have to find if also and then last we should find what the voltage across the limiting resistor so let me make it this vr okay so we are doing this for each of the diode, the diode model so first of all we assume that this diode is an ideal diode then we see how this circuit will be then secondly we assume that all it is a particular diode, then we see how the circuit to behave. Then finally, look at what this diode as what a complete diode, then we see how the circuit to what will behave. So, first of all, we are taking the diode to be what an ideal diode. Okay, so if this is an ideal diode here, how would this circuit behave? And you know, ideal diode doesn't have what any bio potential, so that means what it doesn't need any voltage to make it work. So, therefore. You see that so the voltage drop in the diode will be what zero. Okay, so this diode here, there will be no voltage drop in it. Okay, so now now the voltage drop in the diode is zero. Let's go ahead and find the what the IF and then the VF, which is what the current in the diode and then the voltage in the diode. Okay, so when you look at this circuit that we have here, okay, you see that so the diode. Is in series with the resistor. So that tells us is that the current flowing through the diode will be the same current what flowing through the resistor here. So therefore, we see that was IF is the same as what IR. Okay, so if that's the case, then let's find what IF. Okay, so you can find IF by what, by what knowing what IR, which is what the current in the resistor. So I'm going to find the current in the resistor in that. From Ohm's law, voltage equals what current times what resistance. Okay, and then the voltage is given to be what to be 10. So let's make I the subject. So I have I equals what voltage over the resistance. And then the voltage is given to be 10 volts. And then the resistance is given to be what 1 kilo, which is what 1000. When I do this, let's see what we get 10 divided by 1000. So that's 0 0.01. 0, 1 ampere okay which is the same as what 10 milliampere okay so this will be the current flowing to the resistor you know it's the same kind that is what flowing to the diode so you have what our if to be what 10 milliampere and then for the voltage in the diode is what zero okay so now the next thing you have to do is what, to find the voltage in the resistor. 
okay you have to find the voltage in the resistor you know since the dial didn't have any voltage drop in it that means for the voltage in the circuit be equal to the voltage on the resistor so that we let's say vb is equal to what vr okay and that will be equal to 10 volts okay because the resistor is the only device here okay so all the voltage in the circuit will, will act on the diode okay so the diode will, will, will take all the voltage drop okay so if you don't want to do it this way you can go ahead and then solve for the vr you know the current flowing to the resistor is what 10 milli amperes so the voltage across the resistor will the current this is what 10 milli amperes which is 10 times 10 to the power minus 3 times the resistance which is what one kilo ohm which is, which is equivalent to what two thousand so and do this you get what the ten volts which is the voltage across what the resistor so that what ten volts okay so you are going to do same for particle diode also you are going to do same for particle diode also so let me clean these values here okay so this time around we are doing it for practical diode okay you know practical diodes have what a voltage drop of what 0 0.7 so when this circuit is turned on this diode will take what a voltage of what 0 0.7 that's if the diode is what a silicon diode it will take 0 0.3 if it was a germanium diode okay so we know that vf will be equal to what 0 0.7 okay so I have my VF here to what 0 0.7 since that will be the voltage drop across what, the diode. And then we have to find what IF, which is what the the current flowing through what, the diode. And you know the diode is in series with what, this resistor here. So the current flowing through the diode, that's the amount of current that will flow through what, the resistor. So you can see that what, IF equals what IR. Okay. And this is uh, this these two devices are in series, 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 so the same kind of flow through them throughout. So, if I want to find IF or IR, which is what they're current flowing through the circuit, let's look at how we are going to do this. So, in that, what the voltage drop or the voltage from the power source equals what the voltage drops in the resistor and then the diode. So, I can see that what the V by R equals what the voltage across the resistor. Plus what the voltage in the diode, but you know the diode would, would have what a drop of what 0 0.7. Okay, so you can see that what V by R minus what 0 0.7 equals what the voltage across what the resistor. But you know the voltage across the resistor equals what IF times what the resistance, or it can be what IR times what. The resistance okay since if equals what ir so instead of me writing vr here i'm going to write if times what the resistance okay you know the resistance is what thousand ohm so let me just write down there so i have what thousand if okay so now i want to find what if which is the current so I'm going to divide both sides by to top by thousand so I can get rid of what the IF. So it both side about thousand. Okay, so you know that what voltage by us, which is the voltage from the source, is what that's that's 10 volts. Okay, so let me write my 10 volts here. Okay, so this is what I have now. So let's check out for our answer. So when I do this, I have 10 minus 0 0.7, that will give me 9.3 divided by 1000. Okay, so when I do this, I have 0 0.0093. Okay, this is equivalent to 9.3 milliampere. So that will be the current flowing through the diode, and it does any kind of flow through there resistor so if is what 9.3 milliampere okay so now let's go ahead and then find the voltage drop in the, in the resistor 
okay so you can do this easily by us multiplying the current in the register by the resistance okay so the vr will be equal to what if times what the resistance okay and if is what 9.3 milliamp so that's 9.3 times 10 to the power minus 3 times the resistance which is what thousand okay so when i do this when i multiply this to I'll, I'll get 9.3 volts so that'll be the voltage across what the the resistor okay you can do you can also do that by subtracting what the voltage drop across the diode what, from what the v bar so i can have vr to be equal to what 10 minus what 0 0.7 okay this also gives what 9.3 volts okay so vr in this case will be what 9.3 volts okay so let's go ahead and do same for the complete diode also okay so complete diode so we are doing same for the complete diode okay so for the complete diode you know that what the voltage drop across the diode will equal to the bio potential which is what, 0 0.7 depending on the type of the, the, the diode it is but in this case you are using what silicon so that was 0 0.7 plus what the small voltage due to what the internal forward resistance so that was let's see if times what rd where if is what the current through the the diode and then rd is what the forward resistance okay offered by the diode so this will be the total voltage or the voltage draw on the diode okay so we can just find vf now because you do know what if which is what the current in the world in the diode so before you can find what vf you have to find what if so let's look at how you are going to find if so you know that the voltage drop or the voltage from the source was what the voltage drop across all the elements in the circuit so vb equals what voltage drop across the resistor which is what v vr plus what vf is the voltage in the what, in the diode okay so you know that vr vr what equal to what if times what r okay you know if since they are in series okay the current flowing through the diode is that same amount of current that flow to the resistor so it will be the same current that we want to use to calculate for the voltage in the, in the resistor okay so since you know this, I'm coming to write, I write this in place of this here. So let's look at what I have now. So I have GB to be equal to what? IF times what? R, okay, plus VF. And you know VF is what? 0 0.7 plus IF times what? RD. So that would what? 0 0.7 plus IF times what? RD okay so this is what we have okay so, and then we've been giving rd in the question to what to be 10 ohms okay this is 10 ohms so we know the voltage by us also which is also 10 so let's input our values and then see what we have next so the vb is 10 because what i have the resistance is what thousand so i have thousand here times what i have okay plus 0 0.7 plus what rd is given to be 10 so i have what 10 if okay so this is what i have now so for most this i will rewrite this over here okay so i have 10 equals thousand if okay plus 0 0.7 plus 10 I F. Okay, so this is what I have. So now, what I'll do is that I'll group like terms. Okay, so I'll take this 0 0.7 here to the left side. So I have 10 minus what 0 0.7 equals this place. So when you look at it, you see we have I F common to both sides, so I can factor out I F. So I F is bracket what thousand plus what 10. Okay. 
so this will give me what thousand and ten so let me clean this and then write it so this will give me thousand and ten okay so this is what i have now so what i'll do is that i'll divide both sides about a thousand and ten okay so i have one zero one zero here so let's see what you have for if so this would be this would be 9.3 divided by 1010. So let's see what you get for that value. Okay, so I'm getting 0 0.0092. Okay, so this is what I'm getting. I'm getting 0 0.00. .00 9207. Okay, so I'll change this into milliampere. So I'm going to multiply this by thousand. So I multiply this by thousand. I have what 9.207. So let's change to two decimal place. So I have what 9.21 milliampere. Okay, so this is my IF, which is the current flowing through what the diode. So IF is equal to what. 9.21 milliampere. Okay, so now that we know IF, we can go ahead and then find VF. So we know that VF equals what? 0 0.7 plus what? IF times what? RD. Okay, so that will be equal to 0, 0 0.7 plus what? IF, which is what? 9.2 times 9.21 times 10 to the power minus 3 times what? RD, which is what? 10. So let's do this and then see what you get. So that will be 0 0.7 plus 9.21 times 10 to the power minus 3 times 10. Okay, so when I do this, I'll have 0 0.7921 volts. So okay, so that will be the voltage across the, the dial. So you can multiply this by 1000. Okay, so let's multiply this by 1000, so that change to millivolts, so that will be equal to 792.1 millivolts, so VF will be equal to 792.1 millivolts. Okay, so that's what I have for VF. Okay, so now that you know VF, let's go ahead and find for the resistor in sorry the voting in the, the resistor okay so i'm doing that also here okay so the voting in the resistor vr will be equal to what if times what the resistance okay you know i have to go at 9.2 milliamps so i have what 9.21 times 10 to the power minus 3 times what thousand okay because okay, so when I do this, I have what my answer to be 9.21. Okay, I have 9.21 volts. So that would the voltage across the, the resistor. So that's also what 9.21 volts. Okay, so that was for the first part of the question. Okay, so secondly, we have to consider this circuit here. Uh, considering uh, considering this reverse bias circuit here okay so but down you are going to find the voltage drop across the diode and then the the current in the diode and also what the the voltage in the resistor so down we also find out vf if and then what vr which is the voltage in the, the resistor okay so let's look at that so when you take this circuit okay that considering what and i do diode first okay so first of all you are considering this diode to be an i do okay so first of all you are considering the diode to be what and i do that so this diode here we consider it to be what and i do diode okay so you know that when i do diode is reverse biased okay no current flows through it okay no current flows through it and then 
due to this okay so let's say this dial here is open okay and then current is flowing from this side to this side you see that what since this dial is open it will not allow current to, to pass through to get to, to the resistor and then since there's no current flowing to the resistor the voltage in the resistor was zero volts and also this dial will not allow what, current to flow through it so the current across the dial will also be, what, to be zero okay so now what will be the voltage drop on the diode okay since there is no current flowing through this resistor that means what, there will be no voltage drop here and then the total voltage drop will what the voltage from the source which will be vb equals what vr plus vf okay but now in that what there's no voltage across the resistor since it doesn't have any current flowing through it so you have vb equals what zero plus what vf okay and this will be equal to what? vb equals what vf telling us that the the total voltage from the source will be equal to what? the voltage drop what in the diode since there's no other element consuming what or using the voltage so therefore our vf will also be what 5 volts so vf also got 5 volts okay so you are going to do the same for the particle diode also so let me clean this okay so you know the particle diode also acts as an insulator okay it also block blocks the flow of current okay so the particle diode also blocks the flow of current when it is sort reversed by us okay so in that case no current to flow through the resistor so you have what no voltage across the resistor so vf will be what zero here also and then there will be no current flowing through what the diode since it is what reversed so if will also be what zero and then since the the resistor is not taking any voltage drop that tells you that what the voltage from the source will be what equal to the voltage across what the diode that what vf and the voltage from the source is what five volts so therefore our vf will be what five volts okay so that was for the particle diode so let's do the same for the for the complete diode also okay so for the complete diode also when it is reversed it will also not allow current to, to flow through it okay due to the high backwards resistance okay so in the complete diode also no current will be able to what, flow through this okay so this will be our complete diode here okay so when it is reversed current will not flow through this will prevent current from what getting to the resistor so since there will be no current in the resistor that means so there will be no voltage in the resistor so vr will also be what zero okay and you know there will be what no current flowing through the dial so our if will also be what zero okay so what of vf so the voltage drops okay the total voltage will go to what? the voltage so that's the voltage across the resistor plus what? the voltage in the diode but you know there's no voltage in the resistor so you have what vb equals what vb equals zero plus what vf so therefore we have what vb to be equal to what vf i know vb equals what five volts so therefore the the voltage in the dial was five volts 